<laughs> Maybe just let Dave know that Stuart, Stuart will open and throw to, to Dave. But yeah. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Did you send them my details? <laughs> of it. That's because I've been using your subscription. From this wonderful venue known as Woodhill Sands Equestrian Centre here in Auckland. This event this afternoon is a real charity event for those of you that are going to be so generous. We're holding this on the Guild Trap Audi Grass Arena, that's right in front of us. We have a large amount of money that we hope to raise for breast cancer and the first horse into the ring is going to be a horse called Waitangi Imac and he's going to come from, what's that, the eastern end or the western end across the arena and talk to our number one commentator here at the show, David Nichols. David will explain all the rules and regs as to how we hope that this class will run. Any questions, we'll deal with them. Over to you, David. Hi, oh, thanks very much, Stuart. And of course, the sponsors charity challenge. We are back for 2021. Basically how this goes is the fastest combination the, first, the fastest four will be back for the second round, the jump off. They're all dressed up, they're warming out the back. This is a charity event, it's a lot of fun. We are raising money for the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. A couple of years ago, we raised around about seven to $8,000. We see the lovely ladies. This must be the Matthew Dickey Fan Club. Matt's, Matt's our first rider that's gonna be out, so. I'm picking that uh, Paxton and the team from Fibre Fresh are going to be Matthew's fan clubs for the day. So we are, we are raising awareness for the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. So any donations will be greatly appreciated. What's going to happen is they'll jump the 10 fences. They'll get penalised four seconds for every rail they have down. They'll get to jump the last fence, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness fence just here. Then they get an opportunity to jump this fence here, the Joker. It's set at 1 metre 30, and I've been advised that show jumping wider matter will offer up $100 for every rider that jumps it clean. I've also been made aware that Burmester Realty will offer up 
$100 for every rider that jumps it clean. I've also been asked if Giltrap Aldi will stand up. GJ Gardner Homes, I'm sure Fibre Fresh will put something up. Paxton will get keen on that. Maybe a bag of feed for every rider that jumps clear and a donation to Breast Cancer Foundation. So, Matt, we'll get underway with the start here. Um, <laughs> what can I say? I have a strange feeling Paxton sets you up on this one. Yeah, I, I have to give credit, credit to Paxton. She's my uh, fashion designer for the day today, so cheers, Pax. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, how, you know the rules. Go fast, go clean. Come and jump the joker and we'll see if we can put a hundred bucks in. Just to like to say thanks to Fiber Fresh for, uh, for, for I'm riding for Fiber Fresh today, so cheers for sponsoring the class and I'll uh, try and give it some justice. I'm also going to give David a bit of a treat here. I'll let him uh, wear, wear these wings for the rest of the remainder of the event. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I finally get my wings. Okay, David, well, we've got a little bit of information on Matthew. Over to my co-commentator, Tanya. Lisa. Lisa. <laughs> I'll get it right, don't worry. <laughs> So the first rider to go in this, the Sponsors Charity Challenge by invitation only, Matthew Dickey. Matthew, a civil engineer living in Oakura, Taranaki and working in New Plymouth. He was winner of the Premier Stakes in 2016. Some of you will remember on Quango, winner of the top eight-year-old horse in New Zealand, also Quango and Young Rider of the Year in 2011 on Kiwi Guard. Been around a number of years, Matthew, Matthew very familiar face on the equestrian scene. And he also won Pony of the Year back in 2008. Seriously good competitor. Seriously good. We wait the bell. There it goes. That's the whistle. The bell, the hooter. Call it what you like. You hear all sorts of things come out of this microphone this afternoon. Today, Matthew's riding Waitangi Imac. Gee, he looks pretty, doesn't he? You think he looks pretty, Dave? Any bloke wearing pink, you've got to wonder about that. Matthew riding today for Fibre Fresh Equine. Suppliers of Everyday Equine Superfood. And we're very grateful for the sponsorship that Fibre Fresh Equine bring to this tremendous World Cup Festival. Well, coming up on my screen is all clear in about 37 seconds at this point. Is he going the right way, Dave? Just the two to go for Matthew. Riding for Fibre Fresh, and then he gets to jump the joker. Go, Matt! The louder you are, the faster he goes. Been a bit careful. No. Now the first attempt at the joker. He'll be jumping this joker just here. Why do matter show jumping and Ray, and Ray Burmester Jewelry will offer up $100 each. But I've been told Fibre Fresh, if he jumps it clear, Fibre Fresh will donate $500. Up and high, mate. Oh! I think he sucks. <laughs> we think so Matt, too. you lost 500 bucks. Oh dear. What happens when you started your life in Taranaki? No, no, nothing. And Matthew's time, 69.84, and clear apart from the Joker. In fact, there's, there's no minuses. It's just if he jumps it. It's a bonus. It's a bonus of money. Okay. Money. Right, Georgia Bouzade now comes to the arena. Part of the Pacific Motor. Got to go to David. Ignore that, David. Tell the rider, will you please? Georgia riding for the Pacific Motor Group. Franchise dealer for Ford, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Suzuki cars and motorcycles, and Polaris ATV and UTV. Operating... So so, Georgia Pacific Motor Group, um, do you reckon you can go faster than Matt? And do you reckon you can jump the Joker? I reckon I can jump the Joker and hopefully I can go faster. <laughs> All right, oh, we'll see if we can find out how much we can get if you jump the Joker clear. Good luck on the course, Georgia Bussard. 
rides Vitis. And that's the bell for Georgia Buzade, 18 years old. From Cambridge goes to St. Peter's School. Won the North Island Junior Idea Championship 2019-2020. And the same year was second in the Pony Grand Prix Series with Redcliffe's Bill. Second in the Junior Rider Series last year with AP Ninja. Today, though, riding for the Pacific Motor Group on Vitesse. Looking very, very composed. Too composed, in fact, David. Yeah, time looks really good. She, she needs to sit at around about 30 seconds after she jumps fence five. A little bit slow there. Perhaps. Remember, only the top four come back for the jump off. That tight in there, you could have a party, David, amongst those jumps. So, Georgia in great form. Gee, Whiskers, fantastic form. Just Nothing the last down. line to go. She's going quick. Oh, yeah. So Georgia Bussard gets now to line up the Joker with $100 from Show Jumping Wider Matter, $100 from Burmester Realty if she jumps clean. All concentration. At, oh, no. Why do horses have back legs, Fiona? That's two horses out. Knocked them down with both back legs. That's strange. 2.36 and all clear for Georgia Buzaid and Vitesse. Right. Well, well, we're not going to be making much money, Stu. No, I can see that. You might have to dig into your pocket. Mine's empty. Right. Into the ring now comes Nicole Leland riding Dynasty NZPH, part of the GJ Gardner Holmes team. Nicole, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you can jump the Joker? I reckon I can. <laughs> Is your GJ Gardner family here? Yes, they are. Have we got any GJ Gardner fans in the marquee? Oh, look at that. Put your hands up for how many hundreds I can get if she jumps this clean. Five, ten, 1,500. Or five, 500. Eh? 1,500 if she jumps it clean. Hey, hey, GJ Gardner. No pressure. 1,500 if she jumps the joker clean. Nicole, best of luck. Well, that's just pointed out that we think that makes it harder, David, not easier. Right, the hooter. So that's the buzzer for Nicole Laleen aboard Dynasty NZPH. Nicole still at school, competing at junior rider level, riding for GJ Gardner Holmes. And it's the Rodney Branch a franchise that first opened their doors in September 1997 and have been proudly building in this community for over 20 years. Team have a wealth of local building experience with a reputation that ensures all customers receive excellent service, quality workmanship and quality product. So we're very grateful to them for their sponsorship. They've offered now $1,500 if their rider, Nicole Laline, uh, can jump the joker at the end of this course. Oh, some weight on there, isn't there, when you listen to that? Bit of pressure. Bit of pressure. But smart rider, looking very confident. What's it like down there, Dave? Righto, Nicole, going exceptionally well for the GJ Gardner Holmes team. The beautiful breast cancer fence, she's done it well. Oh, brilliant, Nicole, great ride. Righto. 
Time for the Joker. $1,500 donation from GJ Gardner Homes. If she jumps this clean. Hold your breath, hold your breath, hold your breath. Yes. Yeah! Thank you. That is brilliant. There you go. We've got 1500 bucks in the pot. I thought we were going to struggle while the first two had rails down. $1,500 in the pot. First bragging rights to GJ Gardner Homes in this sponsors charity event. Okay, across the ring now comes Melody Matheson riding Quarterflex Enya MH. Now, David, you know how good this girl is. She's been second in the horse of the year a couple of times, so this is going to be just chicken feed for her. What are you going to get out of that? Apparently, this is going to be easy as for you. What do you reckon? Um, I mean, we'll see. It depends on the horse. She can be a bit spooky sometimes. You'll be right. You'll be right. Hey, um, where's Williamson Land and Water? Are they in the marquee out the back? What are you guys going to put up? We'll see how good your sponsors are, eh? Then you can decide how fast you go. Are you guys going to put up 1,500? 1,500, they're going to match GJ Gardner. There you go, Mel, no pressure. But apparently if you drop the rail down, you have to pay them. Is that a good deal? No, nah, that is, she doesn't like that. Jump it clean and we've got 1,500 going to Breast Cancer Awareness. Good luck, Melody Matheson. Good luck, Melody Matheson. combination to get underway. Melody Matheson and Quarterflex Enya MH. Riding for Williamson Water and Land Advisory. The nationwide network across the country delivering a broad spectrum of water and land services for all your water and land issues. Farmers, small block holders, people for whom it's becoming increasingly difficult for the rural people to carry out business due to new regulatory measures aimed at improving their envi environment. If you're finding it hard to keep up with what's going on with all these regulations, these are the people to talk to. Williamson Water and Land Advisory, regional plan change process, resource consents, due diligence, bore design, Hydrogeological technical advice, you name it, they can sort out your problems. Talk to John and Wendy Williamson. Happy to chat with you about your issues. You'll find them online. Check out their website. Melody Matheson, their sponsored rider. And they've offered to match that $1,500 if she jumps the joker clear at the end of the class. Melody, New Zealand Young Rider Team, 2013 through to 2016. All clear so far. Over the important fence she goes and it's all clear. Quarterflex in your MH and Melody Matheson. They are up for 1500 bucks if they jump this joker clean. Can they do it? $1,500 donation from Williamson Water and Land Advisory if she jumps it clear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, starting Brilliant. to go well. There you go, we're at 3,000 so far. Donations to go to Breast Cancer Awareness. We wait for our next rider. And into the ring comes Bellagio NZPH in the hands of Tim Featherston. I was talking to him just before he started. He had no idea what he was in for. He wondered whether he should wear a top jacket, a bottom jacket, no boots, some boots. So, David, it's up to you to see what he's actually got. And he's riding for Talk Digital. Talk yeah, Digital. I saw him walking the course and... Um, I think he's had an operation in, in one format of another. And have you had an enlargement done, Tim? No, completely natural, apparently. So what's your, what's your deal here? Want to get in the top four or sure. want to win it? Why not? Top four. There you go. Have we got Talk Digital on board? Got anyone from Talk Digital around? Yep. What do you guys want to put up? 100 bucks? 200? 
200 if he jumps it clean. I don't think they trust you, Tim. Which is a fair call. <laughs> Righto, so another 200 bucks. So we've also got 100 from Show Dumbing Wider Matter, 100 from Burmester Realty. If you jump it clean, there's another 400 possibly going to Breast Cancer Awareness if you jump that clean. Dave, Tim Featherston on Bellagio for Talk Digital. Dave, check that thing on the back of his bum, will you? What's that? There's a fluffy thing on the back, on his backside. What on earth would you use that for? <laughs> Can you tell us, Tim? What do you use that fluffy thing for? Oh, I'll tell you later. Tell us later. Ah, uh -huh, that's for you to get out of him, Dave. <laughs> I was going to say flossing, but. So underway now, Tim Featherston and Bellagio NZPH riding for Talk Digital. And the fabulous signage that you can see all around the show has been printed by Talk, who produce large format digital print and POS displays and material, as well as offering dye sublimation services, which includes flags, drop banners, media walls. It's a one-stop shop, high energy and customer focused. So talk to them for your printing and digital needs. Tim Riding Bellagio. Tim, of course, runs Red Cliffs Equestrian with Kate Hewlett up in Kerikiri. Hey, well, he's having a grand ride as Tim Featherston. They're absolutely brilliant, even though he has got that fluffy thing on the back of his backside. I really, really am fascinated. Over he goes over the breast cancer fence, and by my screen, he's all no faults at all. All right, oh, Tim, line up the joker. I think no, you don't need a bell. He's scared. Oh, it's his fascinator. Oh, fascinator. $200 up. Donation from Talk Digital, $100 from each show dumbing wider matter and Burmester Realty. If he jumps it clean, we'll add another $400 to the pot. Up he goes. Oh <coughs> Brilliant. Well done, Tim. Tim Featherstone and Bellagio goes all clear and adds a donation into the breast cancer awareness pot. Man, he was scared. He was so scared. Anyway, move on now to the sixth combination, Catapult Extreme in the hands of Georgina Forsyth. Now, Dave, this could be a field day. I'm hoping her father's here. Georgina, I, um, I saw you walking your course with your sister. I don't know whether she was more nervous or you were. I think she was looking at her jumps for later um, and not really concentrating, but, yep, she's a good coach. So um, you jump the joker, then the, clearly the pressure goes on your sister to jump clear in the World Cup later on. Yep, that's definitely how it works. Best of luck, eh? Best of luck. Is there anyone from Weatherbeater in... Is there a Weatherbeater rep in the marquee? Hello. Do you want to put up a... Um, what do you want to put up? Two undie? Two undie it is. Another two undie. So 400 bucks into the breast cancer awareness pot should... Georgina, go clear over the joker at the completion of her class. So that's the bell for Catapult Extreme, Georgina Forsyth riding for Weatherbeater. Weatherbeater celebrating its 40th birthday this year and very happy to be here supporting the Giltrap Audi World Cup Festival. And apparently the latest in the Weatherbeater stable, it's the rug that's been made from over 340 plastic bottles it's called green tech so if you're a great supporter of the, looking after the environment you might want to check it out ask them about the green tech rugs made from 340 plastic bottles so we've had five clear rounds so far the fastest was matthew dickey's 69.84 but only the fastest four go through to the second round to the jump off So, great introduction for Georgina Forsyth. She's had it all. Father, a top, top polo player. And he won't be far away, I'm sure. Beautiful rider, this young lady. Riding 
for Weather Beater. Oh, she's struggling. So Georgina's Forsyth all, just the one fence down, is it judges? Just the one fence down at this stage? That's four seconds. So Georgina Forsyth, a board catapult extreme. There's 200 extra dollars on offer from Weatherbeater New Zealand. $100 from Burmester Realty. $100 from Wider Matter Show Jumping. Should she jump this clean? Yes, oh, easy as. Well done, Georgina Forsyth. Gee, how the, somebody adding up the dollars, Dave, or is that... Uh, oh, OK, well done. Whatever that means. Right, move on now to Madison Greaterix, who's going to ride a horse called Daisy Duke NZPH. And they represent Burnett's Transport, and that's got to be one of the big companies around here, Burnett's Transport, Dave. Exactly. They might even be able to transport one of those big pots that uh -huh. we'll auction off a bit later. Uh -huh. hey, there's a method to my madness, Stu. Okay. Understood. Hey, um, Madison, I had a bit of a funny look from the judges. They were looking at your white socks. For, uh, they thought the, the horse was bleeding, but I see it's just it's pink spray paint. Yeah. Just pink spray paint. <laughs> so what's the plan? You're going to go fast and try and get in the top four and then attack the Joker or? Just survive. Just survive. Fair enough. Have we got anyone from Burnett's Transport here? No? That's all good. They're not here today. They're hopefully watching via Sky Sport next. Best of luck, Madison. Aboard Daisy Duke NZPH. Dave, I think you've scared that rider. I think she's a little nervous. Maddie, just 15 years old. So understandable if she has got a few nerves, I should think. Lives in Waipu, produces all her own ponies from breaking into Grand Prix level. Maddie enjoys playing hockey and squash when she can squeeze them in in between her equestrian commitments. Riding for Burnett's Transport, they are big earth movers and have been responsible for a lot of the levelling off that's gone on around uh, Woodhill Sands to get ready for this fabulous show. It's based in Kumu, so remember that name should you need to put in an arena or do some groundwork at home, Burnett's Transport, the ones to talk to. So, Madison going really well, just the one fence down that adds four seconds to her time. Love the dress. Another one with something hanging out the back. Fifteen years old. In the big time, having fun. Well done, Madison. Just a couple from home. All concentration. Yep. Now the beautiful breast cancer fence that we're all here for, and it stays up. So Madison's time now to attack the Vodonovich Law Joker. $100 from Show Jumping Wider Matter. $100 from Burmester Realty. Should she jump this clean? Oh, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Easy. Easy as. I don't know why Matthew Dickey had a problem with it to start with. I said to you the horse only had two legs. <laughs> he needed the wings he gave me, Stu. Righto. Move on now to Rose Windross, who's going to ride a horse called Double J Kelvin. Hopefully not too far away. There they are. Double J Kelvin and riding for the Bartley Riding Academy, Dave. Hope that, don't make her so nervous. Just those young ones, isn't it? Oh, she, she doesn't look nervous. Double J Calvin, we know he can go quick. Can he jump high though? Yeah, I think so. Is there anyone from Bartley Riding Academy in, in the crowd watching you? Yep. <laughs> Friends or family? Both. 
There you go, friends and family, even better. We'll see how much we can fleece these guys for, eh? Bartley Riding Academy, how much do you guys want to put up? Hey? 1,200 if you jump clean. Good deal? Yep, sweet. Too easy, I like that. Go, Rose. Well done. Have well, fun, hundred. that's the biggest thing. So oh. for Rose Windross and Double J Kelvin, riding for Bartley Riding Academy, the riding school based in Whitford, run by mum Karen Bartley and her daughter Jessica Trow. Keen show jumpers, uh, always willing to support the equestrian community, offering quality riding lessons from all levels, from beginners to competition level with lots of holiday camps during the school holidays. It's a wonderful location out there in Whitford. Uh, very keen to support those who are motivated and wanting to get underway on their journey or already underway. And they are going to donate $1,200 to a breastfeeding our wonderful charity if Rose goes clear over the Joker. Well, no pressure. No pressure. Rose is jumping. Oh, dear. A rail down in the middle. I didn't think that rail was in place, was it? Somebody kicked it. Don't tell me the horse kicked it. Two from home. The beautiful breast cancer fence, the last one. Oh, it gave it a hell of a wrap. Stayed up, Dave. Well, it stayed up. This is the tricky one, though. There's 1,200 bucks on offer extra for the breast cancer awareness from Bartley Riding Academy. 100 from both White Matter Show Dumbing and Burmester Realty. Oh! That's right. That's right, Dave. We'll carry it forward to another one. Well, the score team... 77.89, that's what it was. Okay, now we move on to Lord uh, number nine, it is. The rider is Philip Steiner. We're up to about $4,000 in donations so far from this class alone. So Philip Steiner comes to talk to you, Dave, and on the horse called Lord Rendition WS, and you know what the, the letters are for, and they're riding for Burmester Realty. Phil Steiner. Riding for Burmester Realty, no pressure, eh? But you realise that this is probably one of your favourite events, that you've got to go fast and really quick. I don't think he likes my wings. Yeah, no, we'll go hard and fast. There you go. Do you reckon you can do the joker? I'll give it all it's got. There we go. We'll see what we can do. Jane, do you want to add any more to this? or Because you're already putting up 100 for everyone that goes clear. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Five hundred, Phil. And and I tell you what, if your wife jumps it clean, I'm sure they'll give her a fifty dollar jewellery voucher. Another five hundred from Burmester Realty. If Philip Steiner jumps this clean, so there'll be in in effect there'll be six hundred going from Burmester Realty and a hundred dollars from Show Jumping Wider Matter to Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. Should he jump this clean? Phil Steiner. Already gone for Philip and Lord Rendition WS. Approaching the start now and riding for Burmester Realty providing solutions for your needs. They can offer a choice of affordable residential lifestyle and farms in and around Helensville, Waimaku, South Head, Kokapa Kappa, Waitoki. And they have very experienced salespeople committed to dealing with any inquiries that you might have. When you appoint them, you don't just get one real estate, you get the resources of the entire team. So we thank them very much for their generous sponsorship of this class. As David said, $100 for uh, every clear jump of the Joker for breast cancer awareness and $500 extra if Philip can jump the Joker. Now, Lisa, I'm going to help you with one word. 
See that word there on your sheet? Kappa Kappa. Cal Copper Copper. Copper Copper, thank you. Cal Copper Copper. It's a famous place somewhere around here. So, Phil Steiner, Lord Rendition WS, gets to line up the Joker. An extra 500 bucks on offer from Burmester Realty. 100 from Wider Matter Show Jumping. Oh, a piece of cake, Phil! Yeah. No worries. Well done. That's what happens when you concentrate, Dave. That's what happens. <laughs> so Didn't his score, 78.56. Puts him into sixth place. Only the top four will come back, remember? The top four come back for the jump off. Run under table C conditions as well. So in the meantime, Dave, his little wife has sneaked into the middle of the arena. I emphasize sneaked. Sally Steiner riding Halperi Easy Rider NZPH. She's riding for Canterbury Equestrian. I might need your stepladder, Fiona. <laughs> no, no, just stand on her shoulders, Dave. I just get my use my wings. Hey, Sally, um, husband's gone before, jumped the joker clean, did a really nice round, but had a rail. Do you reckon you can better it? Well, I think I'd rather jump the joker eight times in the course. <laughs> oh, don't be a sissy. Rachel Malcolm's words exactly to Tash, and she won the metre 35, so let's see how you go. Thank you. Good luck, eh, the pink tutu. It's almost matching your husband's. Canterbury Equestrian... Sponsored rider is Canterbury Equestrian here. Is there anyone from Canterbury Equestrian on the site? Where? How much you want to put up? Hundred. Hundred dollars extra. Jump the Joker clean, Sally, and you get a hundred bucks extra. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. Righto, let's go. Let's go, Sal. Don't get too nervous about it. Now, what's she doing? She's doing half passes. The horse must wonder where the hell it's going. She's found fence number one down the far end. Away Everyone remembered to tell Sally it's a speed class, eh? So Sally riding Hopery Easy Rider NZPH for Canterbury Equestrian. They've got their wee shop over in between the grass and uh, the sand arenas. A shop in Kumu and in Christchurch supplying quality equestrian wear for horse and rider. No tutus though. What's the time like, Stu? Is she on target? 43, 44. I think she will. She's getting more confident all the time. She'll get into here. And get into her, boys. Get yes! Into her. yes! Now she's got it. Go, I Sally! I think her heart's beating now, Dave. Kick it. Don't pull it. <laughs> Speed. Brum, brum. You think she's listening? Oh, Sally, beautiful. Go, Sally, go! Come on, Sal. Crank it along. Crank it along. What about on the far side? Let's give her a bit of a whoopee. It's easier to miss on a long stride. Here she goes, Sally Steiner. Hey! hey! You can breathe now, Sally. Yeah, she can loosen that belt that's around the middle, that's for sure. So, well done, Sally. 81.65 is the score for them. Time for the Joker. An extra $100 from Canterbury Equestrian, $100 from Wider Matter Show Jumping, $100 from Burmester Realty. Ah, oh, a piece of cake. Dave, wasn't she going to jump it eight times? Oh, we don't have time to wait for her to jump it eight times. Righto. Victoria Rattray, local girl now, where is she? Here she comes, down the far end. 
Victoria Retre is going to ride Lamani MVNZ, and she rides on behalf of Nature's Creation. Gee, this will be interesting. Is she coming, or is she just having a little ride down the far end? Here she comes. I think she's just come. having a bit of a warm-up too, Stu. Come on, Tours. Come on. You're looking pretty. Looking pretty. Your hat looks great. Makeup's good. Position looks good. Now you've just got to deal with David. <laughs> Everybody's dream. <laughs> hey, Tours. I love my wings. Thanks very much. You can have them when I'm finished with them. I'll drop them off at your truck. Hey, um, you went pretty quick in the 135. You won the Pro-Am. You reckon you can go for this as well? Oh, well, we'll just see what happens yeah i'll give it a go she'll give it a go well that's all we can ask for can you expect is there it? anyone is there anyone from nature's creation here no no they're not here either what about chalik and equestrian yeah, 50 bucks all right after you jump it, you'll see how it goes. She got a lot of faith in you, eh? <laughs> Righto, good luck. See you later. Maybe you could have extracted some of the prize money from her, Dave. <laughs> Horse looks happy. Rider looks happy. Tours rat train now about to get underway on Lamani MVNZ, riding for Nature's Creation. Family-owned nursery located in Helensville, 18 acres, focusing on growing a specialised range of high-quality trees, shrubs and ground covers for the wholesale trade. Nature's Creation have supplied all the fantastic trees in the main arena today, and we thank them very much for their sponsorship. No one here today from Nature's Creation, but, uh, of course, Tours, and Sister Anna, official photographer here on the grass, run Chelican Equestrian out at Mangatangi. If it goes well for tours, there might be an extra few pence in the coffers for breast cancer awareness. But as Anna said, she'll see how it goes. Well, it's certainly going very well for her at the moment. All clear, all concentration. All happening here on the Gill Trap Audi Grass Arena. Beautiful jumps. Oh, tours. Now we've got a wind gust that's knocking things around. Oh, she touched it. Stayed up, Dave. Well, apparently, Anna's going to take a photo. She won't do anything with it, but she'll take a photo. If you jump this clean. We get a hundred bucks from Bemister Realty. We get a hundred from Chalican Equestrian. We get a hundred from White Matter Show Jumping if you jump it clear. Ah, oh, easy as well, could have gone up uh, another three holes. Don't look so happy, Tours. It wasn't that bad. Okay, move on now to our twelfth combination. To the arena comes Colin Krauss with Arami's Girl VDL. Riding for Vedanovich Law. Oh dear, what a sight. Where did that come from? Now, David, don't upset this one, please. Please. You got a fan club up here. Is this your normal riding attire or are you specially for the occasion? I wish I could dress like this, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, our grumpy judges will tell you you're not allowed to wear this in the arena because it doesn't look pretty. Hey, Fee. Hey, um, what's the plan? You going to go for the joker? Yep, that's the plan. How much do you reckon we can fleece out of Adonovich Law? Hopefully a lot. Seven grand? <laughs> Sheesh. I know lawyers are expensive, but crikey, Dixon. Adonovich Law, what do you guys want to put up? Five hundred? Extra five hundred from Adonovich Law. Great news if you jump the joker clean. Colleen, best of luck. For Colleen Krauss, Colleen riding Oramese Girl BDL, Colleen 19 years old and her second season competing at young rider level, riding for Vodonovich Law, 
West Auckland law firm based in Kumu, just down the road. A, they have a professional, highly skilled team that deliver results, are approachable and down to earth. So for your legal requirements, you need a lawyer, whatever your issue, the Danovich Law are the people to talk to. And kindly going to donate $500 to Breast Cancer Awareness if Colleen goes clear over the joker at the end of her round. On the far side, but that was only time only. Time only, judges nod to me. Hard to get a judge to nod. <laughs> Dave, what's your method? What's my view on the judges? Well, probably better than mine at the moment. <laughs> right. I'm not allowed to say that on public TV. <laughs> Gee, I love the hairdo. I bet it's not expensive to keep either. I see Tony Bolt's got a little bit of a pink mohawk going on too. Only? Just the top of his head. <laughs> Righto, Colleen's in full steam ahead now. She's only one from home. She's checking and it all stays up. So there's an extra $500 on board here in Vodonovich Law if she jumps the joker clean. We could add another 700 because there's 100 from Shodeming Wider Matter, 100 from Boomers to Realty, 500 from Vodonovich Law. Hey, hey, easy as you like. Another 500 from Vodonovich Law. Gee, easy way of getting money in this part of the world, Dave. What's it like in the middle of the Waikato? <laughs> Says, says the cheap dairy farmer. Yeah. Christine. Didn't you have a horse win yesterday? I did. <laughs> hey, we're going to, um, just while we've got a moment, we're going to auction off one of these big pots here shortly as well. So have an idea of what you reckon you're willing to pay for it, and then I'll try and get you to pay more. Oh, right, Christine. Christine Cornage, Dave, with Varakai SL. I won't bring your father's birthday into this, but he apparently he told me he had to go back to Cambridge if he didn't win. He just probably didn't remember me saying happy birthday. <laughs> Fair enough, too. What's the plan in this one, Con? Not to do what I did yesterday, which was hit the deck. I see you cleaned the jotties, though. I, I take it pink worked? Oh, that's Mum's job when I get home. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, best of luck. Christine Cornage riding for Vet Pro. Where is Vet Pro? Up in the stands? Oh, there they are. What do you guys want to put up? How much trust have you got? 5,000. Take a zero off. Okay, we'll go 500. Good idea. 500 bucks if Christine jumps it clean from Vet Pro. No pressure, but that's 700 bucks if you fail. <laughs> so that's the buzzer for Christine Cornage and Varakai SL. Christine, of course, very familiar face on the equestrian circuit. If she's not riding, you'll see her taking fabulous photographs uh, of classes all around the country. Very experienced rider, second in the FEI World Jumping Challenge in Ecuador a couple of years ago, and owner of Cornage Photography. She's won many awards over the years for her photography, but in 2011, she was proudly named TP. McLean Sports Photographer of the Year. Riding for VetPro. VetPro provides an extensive range of scientifically formulated products and support products for veterinary use, first aid and cooling therapy. And they will donate, as David said, $500 if Christine goes clear over the joker at the end of her round. Seriously, good rider, this Christine Cornage. She said she didn't want, doesn't want to do what happened yesterday. She had a bit of a whoopsie, but she's repaired. Righto, one from home. Oh. So it's Joker time. Marlon, as he's known at home, Barakai SL. 
500 bucks from Vet Pro, 100 from Burmester Realty, 100 from Wider Matter Show Dumming. If she jumps it clean, oh! Well, that was a cheapy, Dave. Right. So, Christine Courtage has completed her effort and we salute her for being so brave after the nasty fall that she had yesterday. Now we move on to, well, who the hell is this? Keen Cooper in disguise, riding the horse Double J Angelic. Can't see much Angelic about this lot. And he's riding for Skeet's Tree Contractors. Wow we All yours, Dave. Well, just take the time while well, I've got it here as well. We've had a phone-in. I didn't realise we were a telethon as well. We've had a phone-in and a $500 donation for Tor's Rat Tray jumping the Joker from Summit Homes. So a big thank you to Melissa Clark from Summit Homes. 500 bucks donated to the Breast Cancer Foundation for Tor's Rat Tray jumping the Joker. Well done, Tor's. Anyway, Kian, um, we can't miss you. Of course not. Of course not, I'm the prettiest princess you'll find. <laughs> I, can, I cannot argue with you on that at all. Um, tell me, how much work's this horse had in the last couple of weeks? Uh, as for me riding it, I've ridden it twice uh, since two years ago. Oh, what can go wrong? Good luck. <laughs> Skeets, Skeets Tree Contractors, where are you guys? You up in the back of the marquee? They've gone quiet. They're all keen. Skeets Tree Contractors, where are you guys? Do you want to add in a little bit more? They're up there somewhere. Oh, I, think, I don't think they trust you, Ken. Well, fair enough, too. Looking like that, I wouldn't trust you either. And we certainly wouldn't up here either. He's running out of friends. <laughs> right, oh, Ken Cooper. Right, it's Double J Angelic for Skeet's Tree Contractors. It's worth a hundred or two just for his garments, I think, Dave. To get underway next in this charity class, Kian Cooper, 21 years old, from Te Kaufata in the north of Waikato. Currently in his third year of an engineering degree at Waikato University. Riding Double J Angelic for Skeet's Tree Contractors. Uh, Skeet's responsible for trimming the trees all around uh, Woodhill Sands over the winter. So keeping, helping keep everything nice and tidy with their trim, tree trimming expertise. Well, I think this guy need, means business because our fastest lot at the moment is 69.84. And if he can leave them up, well, even if he doesn't, the four seconds. Oops. He's saying, whoops. Hello, Mr. Confident. Somebody's talking about Jesus here, and I think the same. Something's on his back. And he's only ridden it twice in the last two years. I'll tell you what, if BS was gold, this guy would win. He's got one to go, and he sees a stride, and he does it. 62-2-1, Dave. That's a very, very quick time. How quick will he be in the jump off, though? He's still got to jump the joker. I just saw him salute you. Does that mean he's checking it out? I think so. No, this boy doesn't know how to retire. 100 bucks from White Matter Show Jumping. 100 bucks from Burmester Realty. If he jumps it clean. Gives oh it a rub, but it's clean. Well Key and Cooper on Double J Angelic. Fabulous ride. Well done, King Cooper. Happy to take the mickey, but he is a very good rider as well. So well done to him. As we go to the second to last combination, we welcome to the ring one of our poster boys in the sport. Oh dear, what's he wearing? He's, they've got him into a pink top. He's got a, some something on his back that his mother's put on, I'm sure, because she's the only one that would put a fairy wing on. 
He's featured on Country Calendar. He comes from Danny Burke. He's not a bad rider. He'll come back and probably ride in the World Cup round in half an hour, an hour's side time. Welcome Logan Massey on Master of Hossack, riding for T&M Nurseries. Well, well, well. What an I entrance. Don't, I don't know who should be more nervous after the conversation I just had, Logan. I just spoke to your boss for this class. Um, how deep are your pockets? Uh, Tony from TMN Nurseries, he said if I jump that jump, he'll put up another hundred bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks, is that all you reckon he's going to put up? Do you want to know the deal? If you jump the course clear, he will put up $2,000. If you jump the joker clear, there is another $2,000. No pressure. If you have a rail, you owe him $7,000. <laughs> he doesn't like that one, Tony. Jump the course clear, 2000 bucks to Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. Jump the joker clear, it's another $2,000. No pressure then. Be harder <laughs> than the World Cup, I think. <laughs> it's going to be easier to win the World Cup series final than jump this. <laughs> I'd hate to be in your shoes. But hey, you're a country calendar star, so ah, it's nothing. And you know the best part, Logan? This isn't your day job. There you go, potentially four grand up for the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation from T&M Nurseries. Jump the course clear, two grand. Jump the joker clear, there's another 2K. Oh, the fairy that is Logan Massey today riding for T&M Nurseries. All the potted color that you can see here uh, on this stunning course, all donated by T&M Nurseries. Growers of quality, color, flowers, vegetables. You can find their products at Bunnings, King's Plant Barn, Palmers, and local garden centers. So they really have transformed the arena into something rather special for this wonderful uh, show, Grand Prix World Cup show. Logan Massey, of course, 27 years old, sheep and beef farmer from Danniburg, and now a little poorer. I never saw, I never saw that one, but still up, eh? Yeah, good work, girls. Come on, Logan. Well, he's heading for a 60. They're driving like a sheep farmer. Now, now. He's going to do it inside the 70, David. Is he fast enough to sit in the top four? 68.99, he is fast enough. Excellent. You might possibly be back. Uh, pretty sure. Two grand up for grabs from TNM Nurseries. The judges are telling me he will definitely be back. Oh! oh. <laughs> How hard can you hit it? How hard can you hit it? I'll Keep. just take the Velcro off. <laughs> yeah. He must have been talking to your bank account manager, Tony. <laughs> well, what a wonderful ride from Logan Massey. 68.99 was his time, so that's certainly going to bring him back for the final four. Our final combination, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Kirsty, Kirsten Worker, who rides the horse Melanie's Choice, and she's riding for Guilt Trap Audi. How good is that? There are so many things I could say about this girl, but I'm not allowed. Not only because your husband would probably kill me, but I'm going to be polite to you. Hey, um, apparently they saved the best till last. Our best sponsor, maybe? Well, that's a greaser if ever I've heard it. You're not taking the e-tron home, all right? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Hey, don't you got to get your truck to Hamilton anyway? So surely they could loan you that for the afternoon. Sounds like a good plan. Sounds like a good idea. Hey, um, you're going to have to go pretty quick because you just saw Logan and he was only just fast enough to make the top four. You've got to keep the rails up and you've got to jump the joker clean. I will try. <laughs> well, all you can do is try. So best of luck, Melanie's Choice, written by Kirsten Worker. Girl Trap Aldi. Can we put you down for a 1,000? Yep. That was easy money, wasn't it? 
Hey, Kirsten, thousand bucks if you jump that clean. If you don't, there ain't no way you get in the e-tron. You're not even allowed to sit in it. That goes for our last combination. Melanie's Choice, ridden by Kirsten Worker. Kirsten having a great season so far, a number of Pro-Am titles under her belt. Riding today for our major sponsor, Giltrap Audi. Giltrap Audi, part of the Giltrap Group, a family-owned New Zealand business. The biggest Audi car dealership in New Zealand with the widest selections of Audis in the showroom. They offer intelligent and personalized solutions, I'm assured, and the team will always take time to find out exactly what it is you're looking for and match you with your needs. They also offer sales service and parts, so you can be assured of the highest possible service and commitment from all members of their dedicated team. A thousand dollars in in, uh, on offer for breast cancer awareness if Kirsten jumps the joker clear at the end of her round. Clear so far. What? Does she make the top four? 60.13, Dave. 60. First and the fastest. What an effort. And Quick, just like an Audi R8. What about the Joker? Here we go. Ah, yes, this is true. Thousand bucks up for grabs from Giltrap Audi. Donated to Breast Cancer Foundation. Should she jump it? Yes. Ah, piece of cake. Well, what a great way to finish the round, David. Brilliant way to finish the round. Brilliant way to raise some money for the Breast Cancer Foundation. One that is very, very close to the heart of many, many show jumping wider matter committee members. Not only through the loss of a very, very loved friend in Rhonda, Breast Cancer Foundation, a very, very heartfelt foundation and very, very worthy cause. So what we're going to do, I'll find out and make sure that, is the pot still available, Tony? We've got one of these big pots available. I don't know which one it is, but that's not my problem. So we've got one of them available, and I reckon Tony will even leave the potted colour that's in it for you. Pick it up from here. They can pick it up from here, or... Yep. Oh, you're not going to deliver it? Oh, come on. You can pick it up off the pallet that it's on and deliver it to wherever you want. <laughs> you pick it up by hand. You have a, how many hands? Just one or two? <laughs> one person. Righto. So we're going to off. We're going to auction one of them off. Do you know which one it is, Tony? Which one is it? We'll go with this one. We'll go with this one here. At least then someone can view it if they would like to. So we're going to auction it off. The proceeds or the profit from it is going to go to the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation. If anybody wants to, to bid on it, make sure you come up here so we can see if you want to bid for it. Is anyone interested in, in the pot, in the big pot? Potted colour? What's your first bid? Six, seven hundred? Five hundred? Another five? You're bidding against each other, eh? We'll start at 500 and I'll go up in twos. All right, 500. Anybody got another five, another 200? Can I get a 700? 700. I've got to count now. That's 900. Shit. 900. Can I get 12? Can I get 11? 1100. Who's got 1100 for the big pot? 1100 for the big pot. I've got 900 over here. I got a reserve of 12. 900 at the moment. Anyone down the sides? No. I got a reserve of 12. I got 900 here. It's going to be passed in. Anybody got 11? 
1,200 here. Can I get a half? 1,200. Can I get 1,250? 1,250. Going once. I've got 1,200 here. Can I get a 1,250? 1,200 going twice. Sold. $1,200. Thank you very, very much for your kind donation. Righto, Dave, we've got the top four. And we come back in reverse time order, I understand. So with a time of 69.84, Matthew Dickey will be the first to ride, followed by Logan Massey, Kian Cooper, and Kirsten Worker, who had the fastest time, 60.19, nearly 10 seconds faster than Matthew in that first round. So for the jump off, Matthew. Matthew Dickey, riding for Fibre Fresh Equine, will go first. Logan Massey, riding for TM Nurseries, will go second. Kian Cooper, for Skeets Tree Contractors, will go third. And our final combination will be Kirsten Worker, Melanie's Choice, riding for Giltrap Audi. Okay, looking for the first rider, which is going to be Matthew Dickey riding the horse Waitangi IMAC for Fibre Fresh Equine. We're going to push this through now to get the winner. So don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, about half past two. We will be looking to get underway at the World Cup New Zealand Series final. About half past two, we will get ready for a start. You see some of the course out here already set up by Gerrit and the team. Righto, riders, we're looking for that first rider, Matthew round about, round about half past two for a start in the World Cup class. Could you ask for the man that was flagging the start, if he could do the start in this? The man that was flagging the start, the judges want you to flag the start again. At number five. At number five, wherever you've gone. Can we get that rider into the ring? Matthew Dickey. To be followed by Logan Massey. To be followed by King Cooper. To be followed by Kirsten Worker. Come on. Hey, Paxton, are you up in the thing there? Oh, yeah, there you are. That 500 bucks you were going to offer up. Oh, she's getting her photo taken. Tony, leave her in peace. Somebody get hold of Matthew Dickey up there and tell him he's needed in the ring. Oh, he's having a drink, Stu. Well, I've just had news from the sideline that if Matthew Dickey wins this class, Fibre Fresh will match the $1,000 put up for first prize donation to Breast Cancer Foundation. Do you want your wing back, bro? It might make you jump faster. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. Hey, um, another 1000 bucks up for grabs if you win. You reckon you can beat those other three? I'll surely give it a crack. Well, you couldn't jump the joker, so how are you going to do the rest of the course? Oh, the rest of the course a bit smaller. <laughs> hey, best of luck. Matthew Dickey rides Waitangi IMAC for Fibre Fresh Feeds. They've offered to put a $1,000 donation up to Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation should Matthew win this class.
underway, David. Just remember, everyone, the louder you are, the faster he will go. Through the double. Go, Matt. Couple from home. Matthew Dickey riding Waitangi iMac. Rides for Fibre Fresh. They've offered to put an extra thousand in. Go, Matt. One from go home. to the last. Go. Let him go. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. Yes. Yes. Great ride, Matthew Dickey. Yep. Four point six three for Matthew Dickey, so that's the time to beat for our next rider, Logan Massey, riding for TNM Nurseries. Hey, um, you managed to get lucky in the first round. Still had a rail and still managed to place. What are you going to plan on this time? Yeah, my boss has put a bit more pressure on me, but he did say if I win, all my prize money has to be donated to breast cancer, and TNM TN will match it again. So he's been very generous, but he's he's just putting a bit of heat on me, to be honest. Hey, and if you don't win, what are you going to donate? I'll probably get a hide-in from Tony. <laughs> hey, that's fair, cool. That's worth the admission fee on its own. Best of luck, Logan Massey. Rides for T&M Nurseries. I think he's concentrating, Dave. He's really concentrating. I think he's probably more nervous than this than the World Cup later on. In fact, he's going home now. Look. He quit. Touch the first. I was talking to Alexa earlier and she was telling me he's quite quick. Go, Logan! Kick it! Kick it! Yeah, look at this, look at this. Go, Logan! Go, Logan, go, Logan! Yes, that's a beauty. Now the pink fence at the finish. Yes, I did Oh, yeah. Hey, Paxton, seconds. I think your money's safe. <laughs> 32 seconds flat for Logan Massey. Takes him well into the lead. Does that. Kian, you saw that round, and we know you were pretty quick in the first round, but knowing full well... Kirsten, work is still left to go. You're going to have to go really, really fast. Oh, I guess so. Going to have to go for that 3-0. 3-0. 30 seconds he reckons he can do it in. Right, oh, let's see. Kian Cooper, double J Angelic. He reckons he can stop the clock in the very, very low 30s. He's even had time to salute the judge. Politeness. Another rider with one of those things hanging off his back end, David. What the hell is it? <laughs> Pink tutus must be the fashion statement. Auckland. Give Trelise Cooper a ring. She'll let you know. Oh, very quick turn there. Oh, what a pony, what a pony. He's still got oh. to leave the rails up. Yes, he's doing that all right. He's in a hurry. Where are we? 18, 19 seconds. Logan's time was 32. Oh, oh. Oh, he lost it. Go, go, go. The time no. to beat. Lost it on the corner. Well, you got into the 30s. It wasn't the low 30s, though. Unfortunate rail there at the Breast Cancer Foundation jump. Time 37.65. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you nervous about what I'm going to say or nervous for what you're about to do? I think a bit of both. You'll be right. Hey, um, Logan's time was pretty quick. You're the only lady in the jump off, no pressure. You're riding for the main sponsors, no pressure. And I reckon if you win this class, I'll have to confirm it, but I, let, I reckon they'll let you even sit in that e-tron. How about like maybe just have it? No, I'm not, even I'm not that brave. Hey, um, best of luck, Kirsten Worker.
rides Melanie's choice. We know this combination is very, very quick against the clock. She's going to have to go quicker than 32 seconds. It's going to take a bit of doing, Dave. She's going to have to be very, very quick. He sure is. Not if she doesn't gallop to the last, she won't be going home with the check. You've got a couple of corners that she's got to tidy up. She's going to have to jump clean as well. And it's got to be a bit quicker than this. Here's, oh, that's a beauty. That's a brilliant turn. Down through the middle now. Oh, that's four seconds to go and another four. She probably would have been okay with one rail. Because it was just four seconds to add to the time. She's still pretty quick. Oh, you beat his time though. 31 8 1. She beat the time, but. Confirm for me the placings, Tony. <laughs> Tony, Tony reckons he's a winner. They're coming up at a moment, just being checked. So at this stage, we're at around about six and a half to seven grand raised through this event only for donations from charities from businesses, from people, even had a phone-in call of $500 from Summit Homes, donated for Tours Rattray, jumping the joker. We will get final calculations on this very shortly, once prizes have been confirmed. So the judges have confirmed those placings for us, David, and the winner of the Sponsors Charity Challenge with a time of 32 seconds flat, Logan Massey jumping for t &M Nurseries. In second place, Matthew Dickey for Fibre Fresh Equine. In third place, Kian Cooper for Skeets Tree Contractors. And in fourth place, Kirsten Worker riding for Gilchap Audi. Riders in the World Cup, a note for you that hoping to have the course ready for you to walk in approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Just a couple of fences to be rebuilt after the wonderful performance we've just had. So 15 to 20 minutes for those of you in the World Cup before you can walk it. I'll put it through there, yep. Awesome, mate. Yeah. Awesome, second place. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it over this side. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Cheers, mate. Cool. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Tony. Awesome part show. Of it all, right? Awesome class. Thanks, yeah, mate. Yeah, no, Appreciate great, it. eh? So, um, Logan, you've got to be pretty stoked with that. You were uh, one of the late comers to the, to the competition, but um, picked up the win. Um, you've got to be pretty happy, eh? Yeah, definitely my only ribbon for the weekend so far, so they're pretty stoked with that. Um, thank you to all the other sponsors that supported this class, not just my sponsor. Um, great show, guys.
Um, really, really appreciated, and we're all looking forward to the um, World Cup this afternoon, which is going to start in half an hour. And thank you to my new owner, Mimi, who lent me a horse. Um, it was a bit of a superstar today, so can't complain at all. I'd hate to know what the riding fee you've got to pay is. <laughs> She's definitely paying me. <laughs> I'm sure he can supply a couple of lambs for the freezer, eh? We're in Auckland. We're now, I need to be flasher than that. Hey, if you want to supply a whole beast, by all means, mate. By all means. Hey, brilliant news. Brilliant done. Well done. We've got around about 13 to 14K raised from this class for Breast Cancer Foundation. A big thank you to all riders, owners and team sponsors for this class. A big thank you to you all. But by all means, Logan, lap it up. It may be the only ribbon you get today. We will see. Hey, it may be. Awesome, guys. Go for it. Gallop around. Oh, whatever. We know you go both ways, Logan. Followed by Matthew Dickey, Kean Cooper, and Kirsten Worker. Those are your top four. Mind your, mind your back, Tony. And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause too for David, who ran the show in the middle. Well done, David. Extracting 14,000 bucks is a mighty effort. Congratulations. Taking his bloody bra off, that's for sure. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, we've had all the fun for the afternoon. We're set, getting set now for the big one of the weekend. It is Class 24, the Poly Payments World Cup Final, sponsored by Giltrap Audi, Audi. And we really do look forward to this $4,000 to the winner. And that's time to go at 2.30 in about 35 or 40 minutes time.